Well, it will tower over South Downtown Orlando, all to honor those killed in the Pulse nightclub attack. Today, the winning design for the National Pulse Memorial and Museum was unveiled. New 6's Nadine Giannis joins us just south of downtown Orlando with more on the concept, who is behind it, and the response it is getting. Nadine? Well, Lisa, you said it, a memorial and a museum. The memorial will stay here at the Pulse site. The museum will be a few blocks away, six stories high, right along I-4. Now, the jury that came up with this design, that chose the winning design, they were included with survivors and family members who've lost loved ones. That was important for the One Pulse Foundation, but not all survivors we spoke with today are feeling the same way. In fact, some feel like they don't want their tragedy to be turned into a tourist attraction. The memorial will allow visitors to walk through the nightclub. The museum will change Orlando's skyline. After a worldwide competition with 68 teams from 19 countries. And they need to be able to sit down. Ended with this winning design. Relax. The architects and designers from Paris to Orlando explaining their vision today, starting with the building itself. The goal is to allow people to have the feelings that they have, to really to, to look inside and to to express and to have those feelings. Which the memorial at the Pulse site will be free. No word on how much it would cost to visit the projected museum, which the One Pulse Foundation got 10 million to build. The six story design today shows it will tower over downtown right along I-4. Families of loved ones who passed in the attack. It was very special to my cousin. At the event told us they loved both designs today. He would have loved, he loved, the spectacular and, like I said, the whimsy. So I'm very proud. But not all survivors are on board. It's not even about money. It's about the morality of it at the end of the day. Norman Cassiano from Puerto Rico on the phone, feeling it's a tourist attraction, cashing in on their tragedy. It's just crazy that someone would be willing to create something like that to where people are going to pay to get in and there's going to be souvenirs and, you know, salaries are going to be made from this situation. And over the last months during this process, the One Pulse Foundation had told me that the only way that they could get $10 million of taxpayer money is if they build a museum for people to pay and come and learn from educational purposes. Now, the total cost of this project, $45 million. The One Pulse Foundation now at $16 million. The projected opening date will be sometime in the year 2022. Guys, back to you.